the first performance. It's no absolutes. Hi, dolls! Welcome back. And if you are new, hello. My name is Jesse, and today we are going to react to the movie Tick, Tick, Boom. I am beyond excited to watch this film. I love Rent. My assigned Rent playbill from when I saw them in 2007. That was my first time that I ever saw them and I had the pleasure of seeing it with most of the original cast. It was the first play that I had ever actually seen live on Broadway. The whole experience was like magical. It was the music and the characters and the emotion and the story and just the feeling that you felt sitting in that theater. I remember sitting in the in the audience not knowing what to expect and just seeing the looks on people's faces around me. We also had the privilege. It was so cool. We got, I think, like third or fourth row. And just because we went in like the end of September at like a random time. It was just so, it just worked out so well. It was such, like I said, a magical experience. And I remember sitting, just looking around at these people's faces, the, the joy and the excitement and how they knew every single word to every single song and then they are hysterically crying and hysterically laughing and it just oh. and then after the cast came out out the back door people were waiting i remember i was with my friend and i look and i go what's everybody doing over there and he knew he was like oh I bet you they're gonna come out. And we ran over and, and that's how I got my playbill signed. It's such an amazing experience. And I will never forget it. And that performance changed my life forever. And I had already loved musicals at that point. But I, again, I had never seen one live. And oh my God, it literally changed my life. And it's from that day. It was my favorite musical of all time. I can now sing every single word. I am now hysterically crying and hysterically laughing in the audience. I've seen it three times now. Jonathan Larson is just such an amazing human. And it is so tragic. If you don't know what happened, maybe you can tell. Partly. It is just so tragic what, uh, what happened. But he really created something so beautiful that to this day lives on and really oh my god I'm gonna stop okay hold on. <laughs> he really created something something unique and special and something that is going to go very very far in this world beyond our time that we will be able to enjoy forever and it's just I I love that we now get a chance to know his story and to really, really know his story and who he was and how he got to where he is. The fact that they made this into not only a movie, but a big production movie like this on Netflix with Andrew Garfield, who I absolutely love and I think is brilliantly casted. They have Vanessa Hudgens in this. I'm just, I'm so excited to see what they show us. And I know it's going to be a very emotional journey. I got the tissues, but it's going to be so beautiful and so amazing and so worth it. With that said, please excuse me if I start just hysterically crying for no reason, because I probably will start crying within the first five minutes because it's just so emotional. <laughs> but I hope that we can have fun with this. I hope that we can laugh and sing and enjoy everything and just appreciate who he was and what he gave to us. I want to thank you um, for the all the YouTube comments on my channel for this reaction trailer. Uh, some The reason I'm reacting to this is actually someone asked if I was going to. And the fact that they just asked, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. Like, that's cool. Because then there's someone out there that will watch it, that will like it. I want to watch it with all of you. So let's just jump in. But before we do, don't forget to throw a like or bird. Just like if you do or do not like what you see. But comment down below. Let me know why. Subscribe if you have not yet. But do fun things here. Bring a link the bell to be notified when I upload videos and don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon. It is $5 a month. It's only $1.25 a week and it has all of my unedited reactions of everything that I do on YouTube and additional more. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at star underscore chef underscore productions. I think that's the best that I've ever done that spiel and the fastest. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. Without further ado, this is my official reaction to Tick Tick Boom. 
I got distracted by singing Love You Bohem and I never fixed my... I'm John. Hey, John. I'm a musical theater writer, one of the last of my species. Hearing this sound, everywhere I go, like a tick, tick, the clock counts down the seconds as the flame so good. gets oh my closer God. and closer. Sounds exactly like him. This is Jonathan Larson's story. Before we dedicate this opening night and every performance to our friend Jonathan Larson. That's the real video. To see uh. is true. Except for the parts Jonathan made up. January 26th, 1990. The setting. <laughs> the That's Robbie's birthday. Fashionable no man's land dystopian rock musical that I have spent the last eight years of my life writing. Just over a week, I will be 30 years old. What exactly do I have to show for myself? <sighs> Happy birthday. <laughs> don't panic, don't jump shit, can't fight it like taxes. They're singing happy birthday, you just want to lay down and cry. Da -da. Copies. You are an angel on earth. This is the last time. Seriously. Carolyn, you, you're coming next Friday, right? What's happening next Friday? The, the Superbia Workshop. Workshop. You stop being a writer who waits tables and you, you become a waiter with a hobby. Boo boo. Led by fear or by love. Ah! Who cares about a birthday but 39? Hey. Rosa, your agent who hasn't returned your calls in a year. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's beautiful. Is that right? How are you gonna pay for this, Jonathan? Peter Pan and Tinker Bell, which way to never, never land? Emerald City, Rocket is taking that for Sunday. Oh my god, I missed that was Vanessa Hutchins at first. I just wish it. So excited! This is gonna be so good. Roger and Caressa on Roger. vocals. Roger. Brent was loosely Friday based night. off of. Hi, Jonathan. It's Deborah. Susan just the answering machine. Dance Speak. Hi. Michael was an amazing actor. We moved to New York. I am sick of waking up at five to get in line outside. I finally do get in the room. I sing. I don't know six measures if I'm lucky before they cut me off. Got a job at a fancy advertising company. Making mm. high five figures. Life has One killed the shot. dream I dream. <laughs> that was funny. Susan grew up in a small town in the Midwest. She fell in love with modern dance, and then she fractured her ankle during a dress rehearsal. She's dancing again, it's just all of a sudden she doesn't know anymore. But Susan is a real artist. And then there's the matter of us. He's getting out. And you're gonna be next. T cell count is good. My doctor feels cautiously optimistic. You look great. Oh my god, thank you. I know. What do you do? I'm the future of musical theater, Scott. That guy's hilarious. Oh my gosh, this has been stuck in my head since I watched the trailer. This is the life of Bo 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 Toilets in the closet. You better hope there's a light bulb in there. Not today. Don't forget the neighbors, Michelle and Gay. The life of family, then a family. Chip is sort of sinking, so let's start drinking. Before we start thinking, it's his birthday. Right. One more time. Bohemia. The bo, the bo, bo. That was freaking amazing. <laughs> this guy's like, I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> the best party ever. I just need some fresh air. Okay. It's freezing up here. Wow. That's pretty. That's the prison barge. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was thinking maybe applying. Hmm? To the job in Jacob's Pillow. We went there last summer. That's the place in the Berkshires? Mm hmm. Sorry, you're gonna move to the Berkshires? Do you like? I thought that you were in a hurry to get back inside. I already applied for it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
And I got it. Oh, that is like so far from Midtown. <laughs> yeah. She says, I want you to come with me. What did you say? I said, oh. <laughs> and for a few more people, how about I, you know, sign you up? So you can lure me to the dark side? No. Jingle writing. <laughs> Listen, you come up with jingles all the time for fun. <laughs> what apartment building has a parking attendant? <laughs> An old white lady with a tiny dog. With the tiny Is this dog. real life? No more. Faulty wiring. No more. Crooked floors. Wow. Hello to my walk-in closets. I could get used to you. Hello to dear Mr. Doorman. I like that transition. Ira Weitzman. Head of musical theater at Playwrights Horizons. Five years you've been writing this musical. Eight years, actually. Uh. No one else has told you that you're missing a song for Elizabeth. Stephen Sondheim. This is a rock, it's a Broadway, it's a boat. Is it neither? Really original. It's fascinating. The songs were swell. Mm. Yeah, okay, yes. First rate lyric and tune. Well done. Those five words were enough to keep me going for the next two years. Protagonist is either gonna go in this direction or that direction. Someone has to wake him up, shake some sense into him. I think that's because it hasn't happened yet. He hasn't decided which way he wants to go. Uh, take a look at the budget, and I will see if I can dig up some money for another musician. Two more. Have you spoken to Rosa? Left multiple messages with your secretary. Rosa Stevens is still your agent, right? Oh yeah, I know, yeah. We we talk constantly. No, not Parson. It's something that's never been done before. It's going to be quite the event. Oh, it would be such a treat. Zero pressure. <laughs> I really want you there. So can I count you in? Why can't he be an artist and love her? He, he does love her. Yeah, but like he can't express it. Man. Bernadette in that corset? Write the song, Bobo. <laughs> Let me say that if IV drug users and homosexual men would stop their activities today. What's sick is that's probably a real fucking broadcast, too. I love you. <laughs> uh, they want an answer by Wednesday. So I was wondering if we could maybe talk about it. He's not going. Can we uh, talk about it tomorrow? Because I, I have to finish this song right now. Is that okay? Sure. Johnny's up and pacing. Can he make his mark if he gives up his spark? She's through with competition. Johnny's got a tough decision. Can he settle down? Still not drown. Michael's gonna have it all. Yes, it seems so sad. Can he bend his dream just like his friend? How do you know when it's time to let go? Stop shivering. Wait, wait, no, wait. Let, let, he told me last week he's gonna be fine. Think about it. You know how stubborn he is? He's a pain in the ass. Right? Yeah. Freddy, shit. I should go to the hospital. When am I gonna go to the hospital? I need to write. When am I gonna write? How can you possibly be thinking about your show when your friend is in the hospital? What am I doing here? But it's 9.30 on a Sunday morning at the Moondance Diner. I'm not going anywhere. I need somebody to pick up these goddamn eggs! Tranquilo, tranquilo, Hey! Moon dance, what do you want? Those are Ghostbusters reference. Do we take reservations? No yokes. That's why you're just a waiter. Tension. Brunch. Sunday in the blue. 
little silver chromium diner. Set the fools. <laughs> It's all coming together in his mind. Musical <laughs> lyrics by Jonathan Larson. That's so cool. That was a great song.